talk healthy eats while we're on the subject of eating healthy with your kids. Do you wonder what food your kid really eats when you're not around, right? Because we just talked about that on Facebook. Well, get them in the kitchen with you, and they're more likely to make healthier choices. Knowledge is always power, right? So joining us now is Michelle Gorman, and who is a registered dietitian. Yes. Plus, we also have beautiful 10-year-old Olivia, mm -hmm. who actually is competing in a cooking challenge. So welcome, yes. ladies. Thank you. So we're talking about kids and nutrition and making healthy choices. Yes. And we've got um, Olivia in this wonderful um, cook-off coming up this weekend. So um, first of all, I want to ask you a question, Olivia. Congratulations on the cook-off. I hear you're one of five kids that are in this. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, what got you to, um, to actually be one of the top five finalists? Because um, you're a good cook? Yes. Okay. Now, is this the dish that you're going to be making here? Yeah. Okay. Well, Michelle, let, let's talk about when it comes to kids and okay. nutrition. Because yes. I want you to start making this just one second. But um, with kids and nutrition, how do you feel we can get our kids to make healthier choices, you know, when we're not around? When we're not around? I, I love the one viewer said, you know, I just don't buy the stuff. Right. You know, I don't keep it in the house, I don't keep it in the pantry, but there's also some other ways that you can mm -hmm. have, you know, healthier snacks available right. that are already in the refrigerator, that there's like a snack drawer in the refrigerator right. that you can have ready to go for the kids so they know, hey, I can go snack. right there and get the snack. Okay, so, so you know, like, uh, Bach, um, put some um, carrots in a Ziploc bag exactly. already kind of been chopped. Yep. Okay, yep. so, Olivia. Tell me about this 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 uh, contest you're going to be in and the recipe that you're going to make here because this looks something pretty simple here. You just have a few ingredients. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's start the process. Tell me about this. Now, is this what you're actually going to be making for the contest? Yes. Okay. So go ahead and start. So you've got sweet potatoes, apples, butter, and maple syrup. Okay. So that's what you're making mm -hmm. here. So what did you do? Um, I we cut, I cut, I skinned and cut potatoes mm -hmm. and. Uh, same thing with apples. Okay. And you already have them all cut up right here, uh -huh. right? Okay. Well, how about, so you cut up your sweet potatoes and your apples in here, and you use two sweet potatoes and two apples, mm -hmm. right? And what is this, kind of like a mashed potato type of deal? Yes. That you're going to make? Okay. So go ahead and finish off the rest of the ingredients, because you already cut them all. You already cut the, the sweet potatoes and apples. And while you do that, that's uh, honey. How much uh, honey did you put in there? Uh, maple syrup, and it's one oh, tablespoon. Maple syrup. One tablespoon? Pure okay. maple syrup, Okay. Too. Yes. Now, tell me about the nutritional value of this. Plus, you have... Well, anything with, with sweet potatoes is fabulous because mm -hmm. it's a great source of vitamin A, vitamin C, fiber. We also have the apple in there. Mm -hmm. That's going to be another good source of fiber. The pure maple syrup, that's a great way to add a lot of flavor. I mean, so you only use a tablespoon of it. It adds a really nice sweetness to uh -huh. it. And then we're using just a tablespoon of butter. Okay, so, tablespoon, just a tablespoon yes, of butter. Yes, because remember, we can still do those things in moderation. And then she's going to mash it. Okay. But one thing, Daphne, that Blue Cross, this is our five, part of our walk. Five, two, one, on. right? Yeah, five, five, two, one, program. Right, program. This is all about our health awareness program. Mm -hmm. We're concerned as a company about childhood obesity. Mm -hmm. And so we want to give easy, simple habits that, you know, families and kids can do okay. to well, live a healthier lifestyle. Me. Explain to me. So what does five mean? Five means eat five fruits and vegetables a day. Mm -hmm. And this is a great Olivia's recipe. Look, we've got our sweet potatoes and our apples. That's why I just loved her recipe okay. when we were going through it. And then two? Two is limiting your screen time to two hours. Okay. So another thing, when, when the kids are in the kitchen, guess what? Mm -hmm. They're not watching television. I like that. <laughs> and they're learning how to eat healthy. Okay, one? One is one hour of physical activity. Okay. So getting out there, being active. Okay, well, I think her mashing this is pretty good. I think so. And, and, and you guys were dancing right. earlier, so hey. You right. Know. And then zero is zero sweetened beverages. Okay. You know, I love it. Getting rid of the soda. So it's five, two, two one, one, zero. Yes. So, Olivia, this is your final dish right here. Mm -hmm. And this is what you're going to make for the contest? Mm hmm. Okay, yes. well, we're going to try this. Do um, you mind if I try this? No. Very healthy. It meets all aspects. Now, I do have one thing. Have you ever tried agave? Mm -hmm. You have maple syrup, agave. That's so. what they usually, yeah, that's what mm -hmm. they're usually using as their... Okay, well, yeah. that's good. I have mouthful of food, but thank you so much, you guys, for um, good luck with the contest, and thanks, Michelle, for yes. your time. Come so out Saturday. Me. Okay, <laughs> and we'll have all the information of where this, this cooking cha challenge will be. It'll be Saturday, February 12th, noon to 2 p.m. at Tempe Marketplace. Yes. But you can always go to our website to find out more information. So, again, thank you for joining us, and thanks. good luck, Olivia. Yes. Thank you. Good luck. So, after